<laughs> I'm Maddie Costello, I'm a sophomore. I'm Audra Fluke, I'm a sophomore. I'm Julia Cooper, I'm a freshman. I'm Julie Wren, I'm a sophomore. And we're from Mercy High School. We love you! I've noticed some trends in my history book recently. One being the hundreds of chapters about women that end in almost. Almost as numerous as the times men ended their stories with no. And yet they can't seem to find the meaning of that word no matter how loud we scream it. Men have been shoving the word no down women's throats since the beginning of time. Fifth century BCE, Artemisia of Caria, queen and war commander, died fighting for her empire. But the men who wrote her story said she couldn't be remembered as a noble war hero who died killing men for her people. So instead, they wrote she died blinded by love at the hands of a man who broke her heart and her neck. 1430, Joan of Arc gave up everything for her country and God, only so that men could put her on trial for doing their job better than they could. I wonder if they heard her screams of no over the crackling of the fire. 1913, Harriet Tubman rescued thousands of lives from slavery, but was still told that she was not important enough to be honored on our money alone, but needed a man by her side even if that man owned 300 of the lives she was trying to save. 1917, Alice Paul recognized the amazing ideas of women and fought to give them a voice. When her protests were met with brutal police force, she was forced into rat-infested jail cells, beaten, and when she began hunger strikes, her yells of no were stifled by the feeding tube they shoved down her throat. 1922, Elizabeth Crochan wrote hard-hitting news full of truths, but under a false name of Nellie Bly, a name from a song, because publishers told her no matter how good her stories were, no one would read them if they knew it was a she behind the pen. 1960, 13 female pilots went through excruciating tests to become the first people to land on the moon. Some of their scores exceeded those of the men who took their places, but they were told no by the President of the United States because if he allowed women in space, he would have to let the minorities in too. Men turn their nose into knives, fists, guns. 2012. 15-year-old Malala Yousafzai was death. fighting for her right to knowledge and education and when a man stabbed. stopped her on her way to school and used Fazio three bullets stabbed. shot into her temple to Carl say no, 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 women didn't deserve to learn to read, to write. 2015, 2016, India Hillary shot. Clinton was running for president Julia of the United Clinton. States of America. I could Bill say that a man shot. beat her. The men told her no over and shot. over again on their ballots. But the truth is, there are more women over the age of 18 than men. We, all, we could almost touch the glass ceiling, but we forgot how to jump. The men would have had to say yes, but we lost our voice. They let us go, and we forgot how to walk. But, but when there's there another female candidate, all the girls who will grow up and become able to vote will be the girls who grow up seeing women's marches and movements. The girls who grow up seeing their aunts fighting for a safer world to work, learn, and live in. Grew up with their teachers fighting for equal opportunity. Watching their moms fight to close all the gaps. And we will be able to leave, to yell, to run. We will be ready to rule the world.